Hi, I'm Katie from Bantu Media and I'm going to talk you through the different types of filter that you can have with your WooCommerce product tables. Now, WooCommerce product table is a plugin by us at Bantu Media and it lets you display your products in a table layout uh, kind of like this one. You can have lots of different columns, different options as to how your table's displayed. You can um, have add to cart buttons and variations and whatever you want really. It offers a unique way to display products in a more structured layout um, that it works for lots of types of online stores such as wholesale stores, product catalogs, restaurant ordering systems and so on. So right now I'm going to tell you about the filters that you can have which make it easier for your customers to find your product tables. Now at the moment you can see that this table has no filters. So I'm going to show you how to add filter drop downs above the table here for various things like categories, tag, attributes, um, you know, there's lots of different ways you can filter the table. So you can have drop downs there. And there's also four filter widgets that come with the plugin that you can put in your sidebar. A uh, sidebar is any widgetized area. So it might be a left column, a right hand column or something like that. So I'm going to put four widgets in the sidebar of this page, as well as the filter drop downs above the table. So I'm going to go into the page where I've added this product table and first I'll show you how to add those filter drop downs. So at the moment I've got a product table. Um, the easy way to create a product table using the plugin is once you've got the plugin you just add this short code which is product underscore table within square brackets and that will create a standard product table. I've um, customized mine a little bit using the options which you can read about in the knowledge base. So my table shows products from a specific category only. It has four columns of information, which is names, product reviews, price, and add to cart button. And I've hidden uh, some elements that aren't relevant to what I'm showing you in this tutorial. And finally, I have set variations to true by adding variations equals true to my shortcode and that displays the product variation options before the add to cart button. Uh, you don't have to have variable products or even to show your variations if you do have them. Um, the way it works um, is that um, the filters work nicely with the variations so I've just put that there so that I can show you how the filters and the variations work together. So that's my product table shortcode. And what I'm going to do is extend it to add filter drop downs, which would appear above the table. To do that, you write filters equals, and the easiest option is to write true within quotation marks. Uh, if you write filters equals true, then it will show all possible filters as drop downs above your table. And, uh, but what I'm going to do instead is to specify which exact filters I want to display. So I want to display three filter drop downs. I want one for categories. I want one for tags. And I also want to display one of my attributes as a filter drop down. So that is product attributes that you would create globally under products attributes. And whichever of those you've got, you can display them as filters above your table. Now to tell the filters that you want to display attributes, you need to write ATT colon before the name of your attribute group. So I'm going to choose the color attribute to display. What you write there will just depend on what attributes you're using on your website, but I've got one for color. So I'm going to update my page and then I'm going to view the page. Now here you can see that we've got the same product table, but above it we now have three filter drop downs, which is the filters that I listed in the short code. We've got a list of all the categories, a list of tags and a list of colors. So you can filter by the different categories and you'll see that the list will instantly um, update. And you can reset, there's also a reset button you can use. It's also worth mentioning that the search box is itself a filter. So if I typed t-shirt, uh, then that would filter by t-shirts as well. Most people don't think of keyword searches as a filter, but effectively that's what it is. So we already have two ways which customers can use to filter the products in the table. Um, but I'm going to show you a third way now, which is to add filter widgets to your sidebar. 
Now to use these widgets, you need to have added your product table to a page which has a widgetized sidebar area, whether that's the left or a right column or whatever. And so to do that, we're gonna to go to appearance widgets. So I'm gonna to go to my widgets page within the WordPress admin. Actually, I'm gonna open that in a new tab because that will make it easier for us to look at in a minute. So we're on appearance widgets. And at the moment, you can see that my sidebar just contains the WooCommerce cart widget. What I want to do is find the four filters that are provided by the WooCommerce product table plugin. Now, if you're using product tables on normal pages, as I am, you need to use these ones, which start with product table, not the ones that come with WooCommerce, which only work on product category archive template pages. So don't use those WooCommerce ones. Find the dedicated WooCommerce product table ones, which start product table. So we've got four filters. We've got an average rating filter where you can um, sort and find products by their reviews and their ratings. The layered nav filter uses product attributes to let people narrow down the list. And they, you can have as many of those as you want, as I'll show you in a minute. So if you've got multiple attributes, you can have a filter for each one. The layered nav filters widget shows the active filters and lets you remove any filters. And finally, the price filter widget has a nice little slider where people can choose the maximum and the minimum price for the products they're looking for. The first one I'm gonna add is the filters, um, the layered nav filters widget, because I want my active filters to show at the top of my list. So I'm just dragging and dropping into my sidebar area, just like any other management of WordPress widgets. Next, I'm going to add not one, but two layered nav filters. The first one, I'm going to choose my color attribute and I want to display it as a list. So I'll just save that. Now I want to add another product table layered nav filter immediately underneath it. And I'm going to choose a different attribute to show there. So let's call that size. And let's call that filter by size and that one filter by color. And instead of displaying it as a list, just to show you the different options, I'm going to display it as a drop down. So you can do this for one of each type of attribute. I'm also going to add a price filter because lots of people need that. And finally, I'm going to add the average rating filter, which is here. So we'll just put that there. So I've added four tables to my sidebar area, so four widgets rather. So let's refresh the page and look at the sidebar. So you can see now that we have four new widgets within the sidebar. We have a list of the color attributes. We have a drop down of the available sizes and we have the price filter and the average rating filter. What we don't have at the moment is what are the active filters because there are no active filters. So let's perform a filter so that you can see that widget too. So now I've clicked on black, you can see that black is ticked and it's showing as an active filter. So let's set a maximum price. So I'm just looking at the prices in the table. So let's select a maximum price of really quite low, let's do $10. And so you can see that only the product which has the $10 is appearing within the table. I'll just get rid of those that now and of course you can use the reset button as well to get back to the original list so now the active filters has disappeared because there are no active filters you can also use them together so if I wanted to filter for hoodies there then I could then filter for black within that um, and there's just the one and you can see also that um, if I'm using variations within my table which I am and as you saw, I did that by adding variations equals true to the short code earlier on when I created my table. It will automatically select the relevant filters from the list. So I've already got black automatically selected and I did not change it here. I left it as the default. I changed it by the filter widget. I'm now going to choose medium. And it's just refreshing. And then it's black medium. And so your customers can immediately use the filters to search for the attributes they want or the price or whatever. The variations will automatically be selected and then they can add to cart really easily and um, go straight to the cart and buy online. 
So that is the filter widgets and also the filter drop downs that you can have with WooCommerce product table. As you can see, it makes it really easy for customers to find your products and really narrow down the list very quickly to find what they're looking for and add to the cart. You can um, see that I only have six products in my example, so filters aren't particularly essential because you can see all the products, but you can imagine if you had a large product catalogue or directory, then it would very quickly become essential to have filters like these because otherwise customers have got a very long list. So it instantly helps them narrow down the list, find what they want, and therefore reducing bounce rate and resulting in more sales from you. I hope that was interesting for you. You can get WooCommerce product table from our website at barn2.co.uk and it comes with um, full years of support from us at Barn2 Media and regular plugin updates and new features as well. So the new filter widgets are an example of a major new feature that we've added just in the last week and we will continue to add similar features. So um, get the plugin and keep posted with the new features and I hope it's useful for your WooCommerce store. Thanks for watching.